what time it is? It's Busco time, baby! But first, we gotta get everything ready for this event. This event, Busco Fall Bash, baby. <laughs> literally next Wednesday. And the X3's broke. The Defender, it's broke. The Honda, it's good. It's the Honda. And over here in the storage side of things, the Renegade, it's gotta get fixed. It's uh, a little floppy. But we definitely need this thing on the trails at Busco. So we gotta fix the headlights on the Renegade. We gotta fix this belt box on the X3. That thing, I blew up the belt box last time at Durmtown and it was destroyed. And also for the Defender, man, we got a lot of bushings we gotta replace. So without further Ado, let's go ahead, hop on the X3, get the sucker fixed, and kick you guys into Montauk. about something very important and that is greasing all your nipples on your machines you want to do that every other every third ride keeping everything lubricated very very healthy for your machine christian you would know about grease on nipples wouldn't you oh yeah dude we can talk freaking christian anything But uh, yeah, so the Defender with the bad bushings, nobody greased them. And so that's kind of why they're F. You got a new rollout though. But uh, we're gonna go through, grease all these nipples. We've cleaned the air filter. We changed the belt box cover. And uh, this thing's ready to rip after we get done greasing it. And then it's time for the Defender, which uh, definitely needs a lot of work. Well boys, the X3 is ready to roll. Other than we might switch out the tires over to the Moto Havocs. These bad boys sitting on 33s and 22s, that's a mean setup. But we're gonna go ahead, move that X3 over to the storage garage and pull a fender into the work bay because I got some things to show you on that. First things first, to show you guys what's wrong with it, I gotta go ahead and jack up the front end. The bushings in these control arms are absolutely shot and I've debated about going back to the stock control arms. Dude, why isn't this going up? Oh, that jack ain't working. Good thing we got two. Get the other one. Told you they were broken. They're both broke. They're both broke. Why are they both broke? I don't know. That one broke. The shock on that one, I think, is broke. You yeah, look, it's like missing that cylinder. So we don't have a jack. We got two jacks, and neither of them work. Holy shit, that cylinder's gone. That one's just completely gone. Look at that. Well, I guess we're running town. We gotta go buy a jack. Have a good one. Well, now that we got a jack, let's lift this puppy up and I'll show you guys what's wrong with it. That's, that wasn't even the problem I was looking for. That axle is broke off inside the dip. I just pulled this ring out with the magnet. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be in there to hold seals or if that is... Oh, oh, there it is. That right there, my friends is the tip of an axle. Look at this crap, man. So there's the top of the axle right there, and look what came out. I have never seen that. A half inch of the axle broke inside the disc. So what it actually looks like is right where this little ring rides on the axle, I think it broke right there. That's exactly what that is, 100%. I literally put two hours on this axle. Hey Siri, call Jamie East. Yo. Hey buddy, slight issue, you at work? You're, you're at Disney World? Damn it, dude. But uh, all right, man, you have fun, I'll see ya. He's at Disney World. Well, it looks like we gotta order an axle for this unit. I was actually tearing into this unit to pop this axle back in because it had popped out, and this is the reason why. But I was really tearing into here to replace these bushings, but uh, we might as well not even do that till we get the freaking axle, dude. Here's a picture of it up close. I have never seen that, man. I don't even know what brand these axles are. See, it doesn't even say on here anywhere. It might just be an OEM axle, but this one only had 
two hours on it. Well, guys, I guess I'm not replacing these bushings just yet. Guys, just take a close look at this, man. I cannot believe that. I don't know if this was an OEM axle or uh, some other brand. It doesn't say on here, but holy cow. Has any of you guys ever seen that? Broke that much off in the diff? I'm glad I didn't just jam that axle back in there because uh, we would have problems. We're definitely going to need four-wheel drive for Busco. Jamie, the parts manager over at PE Performance East, he told me he was actually at Disney. He's going to call up there tomorrow, get an axle shipped out ASAP Rocky because this thing needs four-wheel drive for Busco. And right now, it's not sitting too pretty now, is it? But I guess that's going to be the end of working on that. We're just going to go rip the X3, make sure everything's okay with that. And uh, I guess we're really going to be in a panic to get this Defender done on time. She's busy. Just for being pretty. Why you like that? The look that I got, I could tell she didn't like that. Now she wanted me to fight back. Why that stuff that I got it right back? She got a fat ass though. Pretty in the face, but man, she's psycho. I still lay pipe though. For a second, I was thinking this is gonna be my home. But I can't do it. I'm ready. Let's do it. This is your first time in the X3, ain't it? Yeah, I'm a little, a little bit nervous. She got some power. This is about to be fun. I haven't drove this thing in so long, dude. Okay, are these my oh shit handles? Yeah, so you want to hold on there and there and uh, keep your helmet on. Okay. So we're going to go let this machine warm up real quick and uh, then we'll start ripping on her. This thing hasn't been rode in so long. We uh, definitely need a little warm up. This thing's louder than I remember, dude. Holy crap. I can't even hear myself think. <laughs> it is so loud. Well, as we let this thing warm up, I want to talk about merchandise for a second. The happy hour drop, these shirts right here. You guys have been absolutely smashing them. They are live on the site if you guys want to pick up something they're probably the sickest shirts that we've dropped yet go check them out what are we sitting at 129 degrees we'll just let it warm up just a little bit more and then we'll get on her make sure she's gonna last for busco baby <laughs> <laughs> that's not even on it i forgot how easy it slides out christian's smiling he pre-warned me before we started saying that you can drive <laughs> yeah Yo, you want to get a little drifty poo in let's go do a drifty pool definitely got to get a little drift in this thing Oh my gosh. A little drift drift. <laughs> bro, I forgot how powerful this thing is. It just sucks the breath right out of you. Bro, why don't we get the X3 out more often? Look at the lines it left. You ready? <laughs> <laughs> it is so rowdy! Alright, let's get on it. <laughs> oh, that was 73 miles an hour. Bro. 73 miles an hour. I don't know how it is going to handle these jumps. They're probably not big enough. Bro, you think it'll go over the roller? Uh, I don't know. I think it, it should go over the roller. Uh. Oh, we bottomed out hard, though. The roller's that steep. It literally bottomed the X3 out. This thing's ridiculous. Hit the jump. Dude, it just soaks it right up. There's nothing to it. Holy crap. So the X3, this is probably your baddest side-by-side. -side. It's literally like a race car. 220 horsepower is what this one's sitting at. With like 20 inches of suspension travel all the way around. Dude, we gotta build a freaking drift course for this thing. I forgot how ridiculous this thing is. Oh, four-wheel drive launch it. Throw her in four-wheel drive. Bro, you got to experience a launch. Bro, you're going to shit a brick. You ready? Build a little boost. Drop it. There's a water bottle. Yeah, you take that. I think it just came from the back. Yeah, I don't know where that came from. Oh, let's do a 10 roll four wheel drive. That is ridiculous. You ready? Yep. Holy shit, boy. This thing is ridiculous. <laughs> oh my gosh. Go 
God, them brakes work! Holy crap! Oh, 50, 60! Oh, look at all the dogs. Oh, we're, we don't have any braking power. Look at the chihuahuas. My brakes are like gone, dude. The brakes are very mushy. Smells like brakes to me. There's a caliper on fire. Yeah, we should probably get out. That smells terrible. Yeah, we might have to throw brake pads on it. Yeah, nothing smoking. Yeah, the pads might be toasted. I got a set of pads at the house. I just don't know if they're for the Defender or the X3. But I've already ch did the brakes on the X3 once. Well, for how hard you're stopping, I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap, dude. This is ridiculous. I've missed the X3. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> That sucked in the face. <laughs> yeah, these brakes feel weak as shit. Oh, we slid it out. <laughs> it's crazy how it just slides out, dude. And it takes these bumps like they're nothing, my man. We're gonna have to put this on mud tires for when we take it to Busco. <laughs> Can you stand on the inside of the dust? I'll try to do donuts around you. I'm gonna try to do donuts around Christian. Hopefully we don't kill him. No promises. I gotta get it tighter than that. pulling out of it <laughs> bro this thing's ridiculous i just forgot the sure amount of power you got it's ridiculous dude it's getting a little hot though i gotta go let it cool off that's the one problem with this x3 if you just stay in it to the floor she starts getting running hot and it's a possibility it's from a fan not wanting to turn on because we've had this thing in so much mud before she does like to war run warm when you're just throttled down non-stop this is definitely like the fastest thing i've ever been in oh yeah this thing's freaking ridiculous it's zero to 60 is like none other yeah she's coming down she's sitting at 210 now she got up to about 220 we might need to really look at that radiator and wash it out might need more coolant one of the fan the intercooler the fan for the front radiator they, they might not be working so we got to look into that and make sure everything's working before bus go because uh we're gonna get a lot of mud in the radiator and we need we need this thing running mint <laughs> <laughs> oh, that damn water bottle just hit me in the back Where of the head. Where are they keep coming from? <laughs> what? There's another one. What? Where are they? Dude, those are brand new. Say hello for a rip around the field. Oh my gosh. Woo! Like down to the floor and it's just straight up spinning. Like this thing, it just spins, man. <laughs> Should we take it? Oh, the swamp is full. Why is there a crop? Let's go in it. Still can't believe we got him to rub his titties with grease. <laughs> We got to make sure the four-wheel drive works before bus go. Oh, that mud's terrible. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah, we're spinning all four. Oh, we're we're spinning. Oh, we're stuck. Oh, we're not. It backed out of it. Dude, that mud is ridiculous. <laughs> Let's go ahead and turn diff lock on to be sure. Yeah, diff lock's on, and it's just spinning. It is time for a new set of these tires, though. These trail tires are getting slap wore out with the burnouts. Oh, yeah. We better keep going, or we're stuck. Christian, hook the pit bike up to us. See if you'll back out come on baby there it is all right i will get through this we gotta make it through here there it is there it is oh we got it oh 100 hell yeah we gotta go through the other way oh let's go around the edge definitely might sink it doing this i mean not sink it but get stuck over here is deep we're slowly but surely moving come on x3 yeah these tires are not performing like i hoped they would we're in the thicks of it now oh we're done we done backed into that hole 
<laughs> we're moving like a half inch at a time. See if we can get out of here now. She's digging. I think we're caught on a stump. That's why it's dragging us sideways. Yeah, that stump right there. There it is. See if we can go back out this way. Oh yeah, 100%. There it is, baby. She went through the swamp. This thing hasn't seen mud in so long. I thought I was about to have to go get the Defender there I for a second. You have the Defender too. We got a bunch on here though. The Defender yeah. with three tires? Yeah, facts. <laughs> oh shit, the Defender's broke. We would've been screwed. Good, yeah, good thing we didn't get stuck. <laughs> We've been pulling we it out with the pit bikes. All the boilers out here pulling on it. <laughs> all right, let's go uh, knock some mud off. I'm shocked these tires did that decent in the swamp. Yeah. We did not get stuck, which is the main thing. These oh. tires are freaking all oh, that mud flinging oh. everywhere. Fuck it, let's get it over with. Oh my God. Oh, I'm filthy now. Well, the mud's off. That's good. We need to put a bigger turbo in it. Could you imagine just a fat-ass turbo in it? But yeah, guys, the X3, it is back. Do you, what kind of content would you guys like to see with the X3? I know we're more four-wheeler related than the side-by-side, -side, but I definitely could do some more side-by-side -side content. I know we're taking this thing up to West Virginia. We're taking it to Busco. And we need to take it back to Durhamtown for another round. Because Durhamtown is the absolute funnest. I absolutely love this thing, bro. I'm about to flex this hoe. Think we can flex on that? What's the worst that can happen? We roll it? Dude, that's taller than the hood. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, I hope we don't roll it. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Throw it in park. <laughs> I gotta look at this. Dude, that tire is literally taller than the hood. Oh, I about can't get in and out of this thing. Oh, yeah. She's uh, off the ground. We ran out of suspension travel. That's for sure. This is how we need it whenever we need to wash it or work on anything. Looks like everything's holding up. Ain't nothing broke. The brakes definitely could use some work. Holy shit. Oh, hold it, hold it, hold it. <laughs> Wait, okay, let's see if it'll sit like this. Just hold on, let's see. I think it'll sit. Oh, dude, it's literally, it is on the verge of rolling. We fucked up, boys. It's ready to roll at any given second. Holy shit, all right. I really thought we just rolled it. Yeah, we gotta get this thing back over. Ugh. Hold on, I'm gonna throw it into neutral. I feel like it's gonna run me over. Holy shit. Yeah, that was a little sketchy. All oh, the cooler flung open. That's where all the drinks went. I think that was the closest this thing's ever came to being rolled. That, you know how funny that would have been if we rolled it like that? Yeah, we were flexing on a tire and then I pushed it over. We weren't even in it, it just fell over. <laughs> it just fell over. <laughs> now, I don't know how many of you guys are going to Fall Bash, but it's like every time we go to Fall Bash, there is a crap load of fans there. Tons of subscribers. And it is always so much fun. Because basically, I go down there, I film, I rip around, we all just rip four-wheelers and uh, side-by-sides and whatnot and party. And just hang out with all of you guys and have a good time. The last mud bash, there was like 40, oh crap, there was like 40,000 people. That's right, 40,000 people that were actually at mud bash. I think like three people died. <laughs> it was a freaking uh, crazy weekend to say the least. So uh, if you come down there, be careful. Fall bash should not be as big. I'm expecting a crap load of people, but nothing like mud bash. Mud bash is ridiculous. But we're actually leaving here tomorrow or in a couple of days. And uh, we're going to get down there. It's going to be stupid fun. I highly suggest if you want to come out, come out. I'll be there all weekend. You don't even have to have a machine to have fun down there. I'll be there all weekend. So come out, hang out, have a good time. Maybe we can race on that. X3. I'm willing to race all of y'all. Oh! I'll race all of y'all on the uh, drag strip with the X3. That should be fun. Holy cow, man. Are you ready for freaking Fall Bash? Oh, I'm so excited. You haven't even ever been. I've never been. Dude, it is going to be ridiculous. <laughs> This thing's ridiculous, man. We're taking a camper. We're taking my truck, that truck, a whole bunch of toys, the Defender, the X3, the four-wheelers. Everything is going, man. So it's about to be one hell of a time. So if you guys would, go ahead, like, and subscribe. And if you see me at Busco, come up, take a picture, come hang out. We're going to have a hell of a time. So uh, yeah, guys, like and subscribe. And uh, I will catch y'all on the next one. Yeah.